Welcome to my next interview in this series of getting to know the team. And today I have Henry Coley Fisher with me. Hello, Henry. How are you? I'm very well, thanks, Andy. How are you doing? Um, fantastic, thanks. So tell everybody who you are and where you're from. Uh, I'm Henry. I'm from the Midlands originally, but I've lived in London for the last eight years or so. I, um, my background, I did a, a psychology degree at university and then did a, a master's degree in cognitive neuroscience. Uh, after that, I worked in research for about five years. Um, but before the, the sort of end of that, I was starting to think about a career change. And I really enjoyed the analytical side of what I did, which led me to to search for and eventually join the information lab. What in particular intrigued you about the application process that you know helped you? Yeah, so so you're right. And a lot of the time I did have some other interviews, but once it got to the interview stage, it was kind of clear that I wasn't quite the right fit. Okay. And I think it's just because I did some analytical work in my previous job, but not enough. And so where the information lab is, is sort of really strong, I, I think the hiring process is great because it gives you a chance to, to show that you do have skills um, that I hadn't necessarily used in my previous job. So just being able to get to grips with Tableau and, and show what I could do and, and then improve on the comments that we were given. Um, yeah, it's a really good hiring process and it's led me here, which is I'm really pleased about. Where do you think you've improved the most along the way? I think for me personally, I, I've got a lot better at Tableau than I than I was. My design and I think the speed at which I'm able to get the data into Tableau and start exploring. Previously, I'd spend a lot of time sort of just eyeballing the data and thinking about what I wanted to do rather than getting it into Tableau and building charts. So that sort of aspect of it for me, dealing with the the time constraints with throughout each week, each project, getting better at at, at sort of prioritizing my work more quickly. What's your process then for scoping a project and understanding how long it's going to take you? I think now it's partly a little bit better about gathering requirements too. So understanding what's like top priority, what's a, uh, you know, nice to have and what's the, the uh, cherry on top. Alterix or Tableau? I think to begin with, I was, I was Alterix, but now I've, I've sort of changed. I, I appreciate Tableau a lot more for, for what it is. I, I kind of, I'm more sort of methodical. I do like the data prep side of things, but I think especially as I think I've improved most in, in designing things since I, designing dashboards since I first started. What's your favorite so, feature of Tableau? Oh, good question. Um, I have to say that the, the thing that I find the most annoying about Tableau is its formatting. So being able to copy formatting from one sheet to another that that's a really good feature it saves a lot of time how about alterx what's your favorite alterx tool hmm. uh, I, I like the spatial tools i'm not that sort of familiar with them i think um spatial match i actually really like sort of like a join for for spatial information i think it's just a really cool tool i, I like to know what's going on under the hood as well. What's your top tip for someone to be successful in the data school? I think um, not being sort of afraid of getting something wrong. Um, to begin with, I was definitely always wanting to find the right answer. And that led me to, you know, because there's so much information at the start of the data school, you don't, you're not going to know the answers to everything. So getting involved, participating and saying, you know, just outlining your thinking, whether you're right or wrong, it leads you to learn more, you know, getting things wrong will just, you know, when you find out the right answer, the right way of thinking about it or the way of doing something that that's a good recipe for success. I think. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? I've, I've, I've always really wanted to see the Northern Lights. So I think, I think Iceland is, is one of the best places to go and see them. Northern Scotland as well. Northern Scotland, yeah, but I think it has to be sort of really the right time of year. Mm -hmm. And the further north you go, there's more, um, you know, variability in the time of year you can see them. Um, I'd love to go to one of those. They have like uh, the, the bubble domes that you can sleep in. But right. it's like a clear right. glass yeah. roof and you yeah. can see the, the, the stars. Yeah. Would you rather fly or breathe underwater? Fly. Why? 
Well, I thought you were going to ask me something like this, and I, <laughs> I thought what would be my superpower if that was going to be a question. Flying. Everyone wants to fly. It'd be amazing. You've been in London for seven years now. If you had a visitor coming that only had one day, what was the one tourist attraction you would have them go to? We, we sort of say this every year when it gets to the summertime. We've lived in London this long and we've never done some of the major tourist things. But it's, you, you so quickly become a Londoner. That have you never going... been to Tower of London? No. <laughs> oh, my God. What's it's the terrible, matter with you? It? It's terrible. <laughs> have you That's... gone to the roof of St. Paul's? No. Outside? No. Okay. I'm a bit scared of heights, you see, so that would be... Oh, that would be uh, terrifying then. Yeah. I did it once in, in a Berlin uh, cathedral and had a bit of a moment. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so but my go. my attraction, my London attraction, um, the Science Museum in mm. um, Kensington. It's super interesting. Yeah, it's a really cool got place. Kind of something for everybody as well. Yeah, yeah, that's my place to go. Great, thank you for taking the time to have a chat with me. Who's next? Oh, I think Carlo. Okay, I'll reach out to him. Thank you. Thanks, Henry. Thanks, Andy. All right, bye. See you.